Hello, hi. Good morning, children. Good morning, K1s. How are you feeling today? Are you good? Good or not good? Put your hands up. Thumbs up if you're feeling good, but thumbs down when you're feeling not good. I hope everybody is putting their hot thumbs up. Okay, so today we are going to go through... Are you going to go through the book? You still remember this book? Yes, right? You still remember this book, right? Who forgot about this book already? I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you, all of you must, must remember this book, right? This book looking so, looking so boring, right? Just how many colors do you see here? Yeah, just three colors. Just brown, black, and also some red over here with the caption, not a box, right? It looks so boring, but is it really boring inside? No, it's a storybook that is full of, full of imagination and creativity. So what are we going to do today? We are firstly, we are going to go through the books and then we are going to have some other activities later on. Okay. All right. Ready to share, ready to listen to the book again. All right. Okay. The title of the book is Not a Box by Annette Portis. The little bunny over here. Remember, this is creative little bunny over here. What are you doing on top of that box? Yes, who can remember this page? Ah, who can remember this page? What did the bunny imagine the box to be? It's not a box. Ah, now the bunny imagining the box to be a mountain, right? With the flag over here, it says Rabbit Peak. Ah, it's the peak of the mountain, the top of the mountain. Why are you squirting the box? Ah, this one has to do with one of the community helpers. What is it? Which community helper is it? Is it the teacher? Is it the nurse? Or is it the policeman? No? Alright. What, what did the bunny imagine that this little box to be? I said it's not a box. Now the, ima the bunny is imagining... The box to be a tall building on fire. Ah, that is the reason why we see the little bunny squirting the, squirting the water hose on the box, right? Yes, and then look at that. The little bunny is using the fireman hat. Now you're wearing a box. This one is the most interesting one. I think this is the most interesting page. I love this page. What did the box, what did the bunny imagine the box to be? This is not a box. Now the box turned into, turned into a robot, a robot costume. Look at that. See, you got the two. It's like it's like a crab, right? It's like a uh, crab's head over there, and then you got some wheels over here for the legs. Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. Look at that. Bunny said it's not a box. It's some other different creative things I can think of. Like uh, a pirate sheep. Like a hot air balloon. Like um, a cargo sheep. And lastly, it's a seat for me to ride on an elephant. Uh, so it's not a box, you know. It's some other, other thing. But it's not a box. Well, what is this then? Ah, this time it's a little bit different. Why is it different? Because in the middle of the box, there is a hole, right? There's a space. And so Bunny can peek through, peek through the head inside the hole. Hmm, Bunny is still thinking. What else the box can turn into? It's mine, not a box. Look at that. See? Now, Bunny is imagining the box to be a, to be a rocket ship. Right? A rocket ship that zooms through the space into all the different, different planets. And that is the end of the story. Very good. Now, I'm sure that all of you remember Teacher Zana's lesson yesterday, right? We were reading a book about not a box. And then there are one word. There is one word over here that Teacher Zana emphasized on. What word is it? Is it bunny? Is it not? What word is it? Yes, it's the word. Wait. Which is black? B. O. Ah, uh, how do you pronounce this one over here? Box. 
Very good. Box. Ah, okay. Now, I want you to remember again. What is the sound of this letter over here? What is the sound of this letter over here? Who can remember? Is the two sounds that combine to get the sound of this letter. The sound of the letter X. What is the sound of the letter X? It's two different kind of sound. The sound from the letter letter K and the sound from the letter 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 S, right? Sound of the letter S. So the letter K and the letter S make the sound of the letter X. Let's do it together. See? The sound of the letter X is the combination of the letter K and the letter S. So, B, O, X, Box, B, O, X, Box. Very good. The sound of the letter X is again letter K and also the letter X. Now, hmm. What are some words? Who can remember? Just not, in, the, in my previous lesson, I listed maybe three different words or maybe four different words that ends with the letter X. Ah, listen carefully. I didn't say begin. Begins with the letter X. I say ends with the letter X. What are some of the things that ends with the letter X? It starts from the letter Letter, what is that? Letter F. Letter F. So, what are some words that ends with the letter X? Who can remember? Hmm, let us think. Hmm, I'm going to give you five seconds. Is that enough? I think it's more than enough. All right. Five, four, three, two, Two, one. All right, come. Give me something. Give me a word that ends with the letter X. The one that starts with the letter F. Fox. Very good. F. How do you spell ox? O, O, O. The last one is X. The sound of the letter X. Fox. What else? Ah, the one that only got two letters. What is it? The one without the F becomes O and X. Ox. Ox. Okay, the one that I say, the next one, the one that I say, when mommy wants to bake cookie, mommy put flour, mommy put butter, mommy put eggs, mommy put sugar and some chocolate chip. And then mommy will take the whisk and he will... Mmm, it's so from the letter M. Mix. Very good. M. Mmm. E. I. X. X. Mmm. E. X. Mix. Ah, what else? What else? There are many other words. Maybe probably around. Um, Three more words. Yeah, three more words that ends with the letter X. Okay. Uh, let me try and sing for you a song first. Maybe you can remember. Um, F I V E 5. F I V E 5. 5 5 5 5 5 5 S I X 6. S I X six 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 ah how do you spell the number six S I X six right just the same spelling as the one on top as the one on uh, uh, as the spelling mix six also have the same spelling but what is the difference what is the difference between these two? Yes, the beginning letter, right? 
This one starts with the letter M and this one starts with the letter X. Ah, so, the number 6. Wait. 6. Yeah, the number 6 over here. Ah, it ends with the letter X also. Okay, what else? Hmm. Ah, okay. You are going to guess, okay? Oh dear, look at that light. It's flickering. I need a tool to actually fix. Fix. Ah, what about the word fix? Does it end with the letter X? Yes, it does. It ends with the letter X. Just like numbers, uh, just like the word mix and six, fix also has the same spelling. Right? Only the first letter of the word is different. Fix. Ah, so we have box, box, ox, mix, six, and oops, fix. Ah, so all of these letters ends with the letter X. And what is the sound of the letter X again? Very good. Okay. Everybody say good job, K1. Okay, next, this is what Tisha Sana is going to do. I'm going to make some, uh, I'm going to play some guessing game with all of you, okay? Ah, Tisha Sana has with me the red box that I've used before, okay? This red box over here. Mm, this normal Monday, normal plain red box, right? But last, uh, but our, in our previous lesson, we imagine this red box to be a pillow, to be a table for you to eat, and also to be a to be a to be a drum, right? When you hear different different part of the of the box, you can actually hear sounds, and also when you do this, your fingers. So hear the sound, right? So this can also be musical instrument. Okay, now this time we are going to try something, something different. Okay, this is what Shizana has with me right now. I have bricks. Mm, let me see. How should I put this? Maybe like that. on top. No, it has turned into a bill. Into a building. Now, this red box has turned into a building. You know what I want to do now? I want you to look at this building in front here and I want you to describe what you can see. But I do not want you to say um, building, red building. Got bricks, uh, uh, not big but very tall. No, I do not want you to say that. I want you to start your sentence in a proper way. But what do you, what does teacher Sana means by a proper sentence? A proper sentence is something like this. Teacher Sana will write it down here, okay? I, one finger spacing, can... Finger spacing, C, and then you're going to write what you can see. Don't forget your full, your full stop. Okay, all right. Okay, now I am going to give you ten seconds, and I want you to take a look at this thing over here. Uh oh, don't drop, don't drop. Ah uh ah. -uh. Okay, I want you to take a look at this box over here. With the bricks on top. And you are going to describe to me what you can see. Alright? Now, I want you to turn to the partner behind you or turn to the partner beside you. And I am going to give you 15 seconds. You are going to discuss with them what you can see. 
Alright? Teacher Sana is going to start counting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Very good. Now, let me start first. Hmm. I can see a tall red building. So, Tisha Zana is going to write down here. I can see a tall red building. Oh, oh, no more space. Okay. I have some space over here. First one, this is the second one. I can see a tall red building. I can see bricks on top of it. What else? Hmm. What else can you see? Ah, now I want you to come for me. How many bricks do you see on top? Let's just gonna put one, two, three. Four and five. So you can put over here, I can see five bricks. What else? What else can you imagine? Ah, look at the box. Look at the color of the box. Is the color of the box brown? No, right? It's red. So what can you imagine a red building is? Is it an angry building? Or is it building on fire? Uh, Teacher Sana is going to say, I can see a building on fire. Ah, okay. So these are some of the things that Teacher Sana wants to see. Okay, Jizana wants to hear from you. I want to hear you using a proper sentence. Uh, I want you to use proper sentence to actually make your, uh, to actually describe what you see over here. Okay, you must say, I can see a tall red building. I can see bricks on top of it. I can see five bricks. I can see a building on fire. Ah, so you can do anything. So right now, the next thing that I want you to do is, I want you to take a piece of paper. Right, okay, Jizana will put it by the side first, okay. Oh, Jizana will put it by the side first, so you can see what am I writing, okay? Okay, so I want you to take a piece of paper, and what do I want you to do? Okay, so you on a pencil. Just like last week, we are going to draw a, we are going to draw a box in the middle. But is it a normal, your own box? No, I want you to draw the box that Shizana made just now. So just now, I had a red, bo a red box with how many bricks? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, so I had a, just now, I made a, bo a, a, a a red box and then I put five bricks on top, right? This is what I want you to do. And then over here, down here, 
you are going to write for me, I can see what. Okay? But if, if it's possible, teacher Sana don't want you to use anything that I've written down here. But you can imagine it to be. Imagine it yourself. You can say, I can see a hotel. I can see a red hotel. I can see, uh, maybe I can see a shopping mall. Anything. Okay? Then I want you to write down here. I can see. Okay? Don't forget your full stop and also your uppercase. Make sure the first letter is in upper, yes, uppercase. The rest of the letter is in lowercase, okay? So, and then you can decorate your box as beautiful or as colorful as you want or as scary as you want. Uh, you can also imagine that box to be a haunted house, correct? So, you can put some spooky little ghosts down here or anything that you want. It is really up to you, okay? But don't forget to write your name at the back of the paper. Alright? Okay, have fun everybody!